Natasha, there have been a few campaigns that have gone viral with social media where you have a celebrity or a politician who will try to, you know, basically live for a week or a month on what they could afford through SNAP or what they could, you know, get from a food pantry. Do these kind of social messages help the message, help educate people about hunger? I think that's the intent, and I've having done, having taken the SNAP challenge twice before, um, I, I do think that there's an opportunity to educate people about the challenges of making ends meet while being on SNAP or, or trying to stick to that budget. But I think, um, you know, the the greatest impact is in the person who, on the person who's doing it because I, I've been working at this at the food bank and um, you know it, within the hunger issue for almost 18 years and I can tell you that it wasn't until I actually took the SNAP challenge myself that I had a deep visceral understanding of exactly what it means to be faced with a lot of these really difficult choices. What did you learn? Oh gosh, well I think that the number one thing that I learned is just how difficult it is to you know buy nutritious food on such a strict budget, but then the fact that there's no uh, the, the, there's no wiggle room, right? So if, if you try this recipe um, and it doesn't work out the first time, that's it, like you're done. And um, you know, in, in my regular life, when I'm not on the Snap Challenge, you know, I, I, I tend to be very a very creative cook, and I know that if for some reason this didn't work out so well, you know, I, I always some, have something else as a backup to eat, or I can make something different. But when you're um, living on the Snap budget, you can't. And so, you know, one of the greatest criticisms that we hear is about, well, these people don't cook, right. uh, you know, or right. these people aren't whatever, whatever. But I think, you know, there's a certain um, confidence that you need to have in the kitchen and around food to be able to, to, you know, make the most out of those limited funds. Well, it seems like some of the problem is, yes, there may not be people who know how to cook from scratch as much as my mother, my grandmother, for example. But if you're working two jobs, right. when do you have time? Right. And that, that was the biggest thing for me as well is, yeah, if I had all day to make whatever, um, you know, our, our, our options would be significantly greater. But I think time is, is a challenge. It's a trade-off. And um, it, if you can't throw together something quickly, it's, it, it's going to be a challenge. And I think also um, how uh, we turn to food um, during stressful situations. I know that I, I broke my SNAP challenge probably four days in because my husband got into a motorcycle accident and the only thing that I wanted was Thai food. Mm. And <laughs> um, just because, you know, there's a comfort aspect to food, there's a social aspect to food that we don't necessarily think about. What is the SNAP budget? I believe uh, when I took it, it was $4 a day per person. 